Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for my November faves and fails video. I'll start with the fails and the main fail of the month was the wood chipper bursting into flames. If you watch my vlogs, you'll know what happened. If you don't or if you haven't seen it, I will link it over here. Basically, I was using our brand new wood chipper and it caught on fire and it was terrifying. And we still haven't heard back from the company that's still being sorted out but that was a massive fail partly because I thought I was gonna die and partly because we still now have a massive pile of branches and things in the backyard that we have to look at and we haven't been able to wood chip it so it's super annoying so that was the big fail the other one you may have seen in my hand now was the Maybelline one by one volume express mascara I needed a new mascara and I just thought I would try this one and I hate it. <laughs> I'm still using it because it's brand new and because I needed a mascara and I haven't replaced it. Um, I've got it on today, I don't think it's that amazing. The first thing I hate about it is the brush. And obviously you can see the brush before you buy it so I don't know why I just went ahead and bought it. That is what the brush looks like. And as you can see, it curves out in the middle, but that's kind of the same shape as your eyeball. So you've got your eyeball going like this, and then you've got your brush going like that, and obviously this is going to happen, and it's just stupid. Like, I find it hard to really get in there and apply my mascara without getting it on my eyelid, and then you have to like... You have to do, you can't just like sweep and get them all. You have to go like that and then there and then there and then there. It's just, I hate it. And it's kind of clumpy as well. Like it's, okay. I like eyelashes to be really separated and long and defined. I don't like thick clumpy mascara. I don't like, like I'm not interested in volume. Volume isn't really something that I'm bothered about. I just want the separation and definition and length. And I know this is Volume Express, but it says one by one. So I thought that would be nice and separating. No. So I have actually tried it with a different brush because I have the brush from, I think it's the Rimmel. I can't even remember. It's the yellow tube. I don't know if it's Maybelline or Rimmel, but it's a yellow tube. And I used that brush with this thinking maybe that would help. And the formula is gross as well, so I just don't like this and I'm kind of annoyed. And now I need to buy a mascara. So if you know of a drugstore mascara that's really, really good and is separating and lengthening and defining without kind of clumpy volume, please let me know. The first favorite I want to talk about is not very sexy. It is Lysine Lip Clear, which is like a immune helping supplement that helps with wound healing and skin healing and basically cold sores. I don't get the regular cold sores on my lip. I get them like all up inside my nostrils and around here and it's extremely painful and disgusting and kind of hard to treat. I can't really put ointments on it because like your nose runs and that kind of washes off. I can't really ice it because it's all up inside. It's a nightmare. And recently I felt kind of tingling all around there, the tingling and itching, and I thought I'm getting a cold sore. So I was icing it, I was using like ice packs to ice it and trying to ice inside my nostril and it helped, it definitely helped. I felt like I had knocked it and I wasn't gonna get it. But then a few days later it erupted like inside my nose. Who gets cold sores inside their nose? Apparently me. So anyway, got the blisters, painful, itching, tender, all that jazz, you know what a cold sore's like. And I began taking this because I bought it a while ago. I'd heard that lysine is really good for cold sores. And so I bought some and just had it on hand for next time it happened. Began taking this and it helped so much. It reduced the severity of it and it reduced the duration of it. So if you suffer from cold sores, highly recommend getting yourself some lysine. This is the brand I have. Thompson's. You can just get it from the pharmacy or the health food store so definitely recommend that i don't take it all the time only when i get a cold sore but it definitely helps okay moving on to a snack a snack that i've been enjoying is this i get these rice crackers the thinner bite fantastic brand thinner bite black rice crackers and the ingredients are white rice black rice vegetable oil 
sesame seeds and salt so it doesn't have soy in it doesn't have all the kind of junk that a lot of rice crackers do have they're just plain and they are delicious but on them I put this Pix cashew butter which is so divine I have tried almond butter and it's okay but the Pix is so delicious and nutty and creamy and I put it on here and it's like slightly salty and crunchy and creamy and yum so that is a snack that I've been enjoying and I have to kind of dish out I put out like maybe six or seven rice crackers with a tiny scraping of the cashew butter on because if I stand there with the cashew butter and the rice crackers I will just scoop them and eat them forever and kind of eat the whole lot and that's really not good so I have to ration myself because it's so tasty but I've really been enjoying that combination okay we've gone from healthcare to food to technology and my next favorite is this little power bank it says code with classy on it and that is where you plug in your charger or you plug the other end of the charger here and the USB into your computer to charge it but what I like about it is you can do that and you can see how much power is left and that is so helpful and it lasts such a long time as well and I also appreciate that because when you are charging it you can see when it's fully charged you guys know I was painting the fence for hours and hours and hours and planting out seedlings for hours and hours and hours and listening to podcasts and in last month's faves and fails I talked about podcasts and how much I'm enjoying them and the fact that they take very little battery power but when you're spending seven hours in a row listening po to podcasts your battery can still run low well, mine can anyway and I could just plug this in put it into my overalls pockets and carry on with what I was doing and still listen to my podcast while my phone was charging this I got in a prize pack that I won from Natalie from That's Nat04. She did a Christmas giveaway last year and I won. And I got a whole hamper full of goodies and this was in it. And I'm really, really grateful because it is such a good one. If you want the details, that is what it says on the bottom. That's what to look for if you want to get one like this. I don't know where she got this. It's so good though. And if you do want to win a prize hamper for yourself, she's currently doing her Vlogmas giveaway again. I will link her channel down below if you want to go and check out her videos and enter yourself. I'm not actually entering this year. I thought it wouldn't be fair since I won last year. But thanks Nat for my awesome power bank. So I mentioned working outside in the sunshine and I do have a kind of stained and grubby and paint marked hat that I wear when I'm just grabbing about in the garden but I needed a hat to go out like if I'm going somewhere else and I don't want to wear my stained and grubby old hat so I went and bought this hat from Posty I don't generally look good in hats but it's because my hair is so short I look like I have no hair but I think this is super cute and it's got these like little pom-poms around the brim and I like it that the brim is wide enough to provide some shade but it's not floppy enough because like I've had a big brimmed hat before that kind of did this and you constantly like can't see where you're going or some of them have a narrow brim and it doesn't give a lot of shade like protection for you which is the whole point of wearing a hat for me anyway but yeah I think this is cute and it does a job and it was 10 bucks from Posty and it's a fave also speaking of podcasts I've moved on to another couple of podcasts in the month of November and one of them is Radio Lab. This was recommended to me by my friend Leith and it's basically talk radio but it's just so fascinating. Some of them are shorter, some of them are longer so it could be anything from 20 minutes to an hour and a half and they just explore different topics. There's two presenters and it's fascinating like you'll look at the blurb of what this particular episode is about and you'll think that doesn't interest me promise you you will be interested they just it's just the way it's presented and the different angles they take and people's stories and just fascinating and the widest widest range of subjects so I would highly recommend Radio Lab. I will link as always everything down below check it out and see if you don't get sucked in it's so interesting and then the other podcast I've been enjoying is Small Town Murder. It's by the two comedians who do crime in sports. I don't know if you've heard of that podcast. I haven't listened to that one in particular, but I've been enjoying Small Town Murder. Warning again, they do swear. It doesn't really offend me, but some of you might not like that. But 
it's funny. It's really funny. They take a small town true crime, like murder story, and the one comedian tells the story and the other comedian will chip in and react to the story and basically laugh at it. And they can just be so funny and I've really been enjoying that. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about in my favorites is my magnetic door stopper. I got this door stopper of AliExpress. I've put it on our back door. There's a magnetic plate that goes on the door and then there's a rod with a magnetic ball that goes on the baseboard and I can just open my door and as soon as they connect the door is held open I don't have to use a door stopper or anything and when I want to shut the door I just shut the door it's amazing it's such a simple thing but it makes me so happy every single day we've gone into really hot weather now yes finally for like over a year we haven't had hot weather it's been amazing and so we've had our doors open and this door stopper is great and even if it's windy the door doesn't kind of pull loose and slam I will do a cutaway here showing you how it works and what it looks like. Just excuse the grubby door, I still need to paint the outside, but loving my door stopper. We have angled skirting boards and that's kind of where it had to go, so that's how it looks on the wall. And that is how it looks on the door. And in operation, I just swing the door open and that's it. And it's held quite firmly. And then when you want to close the door, you just pull it. And those are my faves and fails for the month of November. I would love to know what you've been enjoying or if you have tried any of these things and what you think of them. Again, please let me know what your favorite inexpensive, easily available mascara is for length and separation. I would love to know. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.